The atmosphere is an envelope of air made up of various gases that surrounds the earth and rests on its surface. The atmosphere has mass, weight, and an indefinite shape. The atmosphere is composed of 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen, and 1% other gases such as argon or helium. Some of these elements are heavier than others. The heavier elements, such as oxygen, settle to the surface of the earth, while the lighter elements rise up to higher altitudes. Most of the atmosphere's oxygen is contained in the area below 35,000 feet. Although there are various kinds of pressure, as pilots we are mainly concerned with atmospheric pressure. It is one of the basic factors affecting weather, helps to create lift for an aircraft, and actuates important flight instruments including the altimeter, airspeed indicator, vertical speed indicator, and manifold pressure gauge. Air is very light, but it has mass and is affected by gravity. Therefore, like any other substance, it has weight, and because of its weight, it has force. Since air is a fluid substance, this force is exerted equally in all directions, and the effects of this force on bodies within the air is called pressure. Under standard conditions at sea level, the average pressure exerted by the weight of the atmosphere is approximately 14.70 pounds per square inch, or 1,013.2 millibars. The atmosphere's thickness is limited, and therefore the higher the altitude, the less air there is above it. For this reason, the weight of the atmosphere at 18,000 feet is approximately one-half what it is at sea level. Atmospheric pressure varies with time and location. Due to the changing atmospheric pressure, a standard reference point was developed. The standard atmosphere at sea level is a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius and a surface pressure of 29.92 inches of mercury or 1,013.2 millibars. The standard temperature lapse rate is one in which temperature decreases at a rate of approximately 2 degrees Celsius per thousand feet up to an altitude of 36,000 feet. At 36,000 feet, the temperature is approximately negative 65 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 55 degrees Celsius. Above this point, the temperature is considered constant up to 80,000 feet. A standard pressure lapse rate is one in which pressure decreases at a rate of approximately one inch of mercury per 1,000 feet of altitude to 10,000 feet. The International Civil Aviation Organization, or ICAO, has established these pressure and temperature lapse rates as a worldwide standard, and it is often referred to as the International Standard Atmosphere or ISA. Any temperature or pressure that differs from the standard lapse rate is considered non-standard temperature and pressure. Pressure altitude is the height above a standard datum plane, which for pilots is a theoretical level where the weight of the atmosphere is 29.92 inches of mercury or 1013.2 millibars as measured by a barometer. An altimeter is a highly sensitive barometer calibrated to indicate altitude in standard atmospheric conditions. If the altimeter is set for 29.92 inches, the altimeter will display the pressure altitude. As atmospheric pressure changes, the standard datum plane may be below, at, or above sea level. Pressure altitude is important as a basis for determining airplane performance as well as for assigning flight levels to airplanes operating at or above 18,000 feet. Pressure altitude can be determined by one of two methods. Method 1 is setting the barometric scale of the altimeter to 29.92 and reading the indicated altitude. 
Method two is applying a correction factor to the indicated altitude according to the reported altimeter setting. The density of air has significant effects on the aircraft's performance because as air becomes less dense, it reduces aircraft performance. Engine power available is decreased because the engine takes in less air. Thrust becomes limited because a propeller is less efficient in thin air. And lift is reduced because the thin air exerts less force on the airfoils. Density altitude is defined as pressure altitude corrected for non-standard temperature. As the density of the air increases, aircraft performance increases, and conversely, as air density decreases, aircraft performance decreases. A decrease in air density means a high density altitude. An increase in air density means a low density altitude. Regardless of the actual altitude at which the aircraft is operating, it will perform as though it were operating at an altitude equal to the existing density altitude. The conditions that result in a high density altitude are high elevations, low atmospheric pressures, high temperatures, high humidity, or some combination of these factors. Low elevations, high atmospheric pressure, low temperatures, and low humidity are more indicative of low density altitude. Since air is a gas, it can be compressed or expanded. When air is compressed, a greater amount of air can occupy a given space. When pressure is decreased, the air expands and occupies a greater space. At a lower pressure, the original column of air contains a smaller mass of air. The density is decreased because density is directly proportional to the pressure. If the pressure is doubled, the density is doubled. If the pressure is lowered, the density is lowered. This statement, though, is true only at a constant temperature. Increasing the temperature of air decreases its density. Conversely, decreasing the temperature increases its density. Therefore, the density of air varies inversely with the temperature. This statement, again, is only true at a constant pressure. In the atmosphere, both temperature and pressure decrease with altitude. The decrease in pressure reduces density, and the decrease in temperature increases density. One force has to overcome the other, and the fairly rapid drop in pressure as altitude is increased usually has a dominating effect. Therefore, you can expect the density to decrease with altitude. Air is never completely dry. The small amount of water vapor suspended in the atmosphere may be near zero under certain conditions, but in other conditions, humidity may be an important factor in the performance of an aircraft. Water vapor is lighter than air. Therefore, moist air is lighter than dry air. As the water content of the air increases, the air becomes less dense, increasing density altitude and decreasing performance. Air is lightest or least dense when it is completely saturated. Humidity, or relative humidity, refers to the amount of water vapor contained in the atmosphere and is expressed as a percentage of the maximum amount of water vapor the air can hold. This amount varies with temperature. Warm air holds more water vapor, while colder air holds less. Perfectly dry air that contains no water vapor has a relative humidity of 0%, while saturated air, which cannot hold any more water vapor, has a relative humidity of 100%. Humidity alone is not usually considered an important factor in calculating density altitude and aircraft performance, but it does contribute.